Hey guys and welcome to my video. As you can see from the title of the video, this is going to be me trying out small products, um, small makeup and creating this look that I got right here. Um, so yeah, so it is small and sample size products that I, I am using that I'll be using to create this look right here. So if this is something that interests you, just continue watching. Alright, so all the little products that I have here that I'm going to be using for this video, it's right here. So this is everything that I have for my face. So it's all mini products. Alright, so let's go by priming the face. So the first thing that I'm going to grab is the Hydro, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. While this dries out, I'm gonna look for the foundation. So I have two foundations. I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, which is that little right there. And I also have the Hourglass. So these, this, these are the two little foundations that I found. So hopefully it's my skin color. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try both. I'm not sure which one will be my uh, skin tone, but I'll try both. So this is how it looks. Mm -hmm. And this was in the shade Y415. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sponge. All right, so I'm just using a beauty blender. And I think this might be a little dark, not sure. Let's go ahead and try this out. Um, so yeah, it's kind of dark. Um, yeah, it's, it's dark, but let's go ahead and keep blending it out. I'm just gonna do half of the face with that and then I'm gonna go ahead and try the stick and see if that might be a little lighter. If it is, then I'll go ahead and apply it on top of this color. I know it looks like I have a tan. It looks orange. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and try um, the stick. The stick is in the shade beige. And let's see. This one looks more of my skin color. But we'll see. So yeah, it looks a little bit better, this one. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over this side and then we'll see. Okay. Still look tan. <laughs> now that I blended it, now that I blended it out, a um, it looks dark my skin looks dark like it doesn't even match my neck it looks orange okay okay you know what let me just put my hair up real quick all right now that the hair is up um yeah i look orange so neither of those colors worked for me i do have the naked skin beauty balm with SPF 20. Uh, I don't know if this will work for me or if it's gonna be too dark. Again, I don't have any of my my current color um, foundation in small. But let's go ahead and try this out and let's see if this will help. Okay, so this looks lighter. As you can see, let's see if this will help. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and just random dots on my on my face and see if this will help out. Oh my god, it feels like my skin is getting darker. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just continue, continue on. All right, so now that the face um, foundation is on, I'm gonna go ahead and use concealer. Oh, gosh, the concealer that I'm gonna use is from NARS um in the shade medium one custard so hopefully this is again my color and that's how it looks and if it looks lighter i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all over my face okay so this looks like more of my my skin tone so i don't know i think i should just apply it all over and that's what i'm gonna do My face looks a little bit better um, since applying the concealer, like a little bit lighter, you know, in certain areas, which I don't mind. Looks nice. Looks better than before. I still look dark, but you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. I want to go ahead and finish this video because I think this video is gonna be so, so fun and you know something new. I, I know I've seen it before. But I don't know who I saw it from. It was like an, like when I was scrolling um, through the YouTube feed. It showed it there, but I have no idea who that person was. I If I find it, I'm going to go ahead and link it down below. Um, of the person who I saw the video from and who I got this idea from. Um, but moving on, I'm going to go ahead and use the Laura Mercier Translucing Setting Powder. And I'm gonna apply this all over my face. Uh, I'll just use the um, the beauty blender again. I'm just gonna go in my eyes first. I don't know, it's translucent, but it's showing up like like a highlighter. Hold on a second. Hold on. I don't know. It has like some sheen to it. Like it really. sheen my face like i don't know if you can see it but let me see i might have another um translucent loose powder that is small as well this i don't want to use it as a setting powder yet i'll probably use it over over the setting powder one second all right so i do have um two also small um setting powder this one is from Tarte. It is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. And I also have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. So I have these two. Um, I don't know which one to go with. I'm gonna go ahead and try the Tarte. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this small sponge just for under my eye to apply that powder. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so for all over the face, I'm going to go ahead and use the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to lightly tap it and just apply it all over. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Laura Mercier one and just apply it um, to the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush and I'm gonna dip. Gosh, I picked up a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it all over my face like this. All right. So for my eyebrows, I usually do them off camera and it's the first thing that I do before filming. Um, I do it, you know, off camera. Um, I don't have, well, I have this Anastasia 
um, what is it? Brow tint or something? Not sure what what it is. I think it is a brow tint, um, dip brow gel tint. I don't know, medium. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out on camera just so I can show you guys how it is. If not, because I do take long doing my eyebrows. That is one of the um, the challenges that I have when I'm putting on makeup is my freaking eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and I'm just looking at my my mirror okay I usually don't use this I use my pencil but since I'm doing um, you know small products this is the only small one that I found for the eyebrows everything else is full size So I'm just gonna have to leave it like this since this is the only eyebrow product that I own that it's small but no biggie I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other one off camera and then I'll be right back all right so my eyebrows are a mess I cannot use that brow gel just to do my eyebrows I need like my pencil but since I don't have it, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And what I'm gonna do is grab um, a brush, if I can find it. I'm just gonna grab like a flat brush and concealer, and I'm gonna try to shape it to save it. I'm gonna use this concealer. Use my eyebrows with that product um you do gotta work really fast with that because it was drying out really fast uh i don't even think i'm gonna have to put brow gel on top of it because it is like a tinted brow gel so it technically um starts hardening your your brows to get it in place but i'm still have this brow gel that i want to use so i'm gonna go ahead and use it this is from anastasia this is the clear brow gel i want to make sure that my eyebrows do stay in place So I'm going to go ahead and bronze <laughs> and for bronze I have the Hula Benefit. I don't even know what shade this is. I've used it already in the past um, and that's how it looks okay. and for that I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty bronzer brush I'm just gonna dip right into it and <laughs> stop bronzing I don't even think I need to bronze my skin is already dark as it is because of the foundation but done so for blush I have the NARS which looks like that I've used this one as well um, and Gulu what did this is called and let's see oh maybe I swatched it I don't think I've used this one so it does have like shimmer on it let's see if I can. so you might be able to see a little bit of the shimmer color so yeah it does have like a sheen I'm not sure if it's gonna pick it up on camera but I like it it's nice okay 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush right here. And I'm just gonna soft diffuse the color. All right, so I'm not gonna highlight yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. Um, the, I have a couple, well, a few small um, eyeshadow palettes, but these are the ones that I ended up grabbing. And oh, I don't know which one to go with. Um, I think I'll do the mauve one. The mauve obsessions. So the colors look like that. And it's cute. It has a mirror as well. But those are the colors. Uh, you can see it good. So I do have um, a few little um, brushes. I'm going to go ahead and use, use them for the purpose of this video. Uh, these are the brushes that I have. These are from Luxie. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one right here. This is from Luxie again. Um, it's in the 2270. I'm going to go ahead and grab the color in the middle right here. This one right here doesn't give me the name of what they are um, nope so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that color right there let me see if I can zoom this part in I'm so sorry if my camera goes out of focus this color has a lot of pigment just packing this all over my eye So I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna wipe it out. And I'm gonna put this color up top. Just gonna dip a little bit because this has pigment. And I'm just gonna stamp it on top right here, just like on the line. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right there. So the next color that I'm going to pick up is going to be with this brush right here. This is the 207T brush and I'm going to pick up the dark one right here. Okay. And I'm going to stamp it on the outer corner of my eye. Just leave it there for now. And I noticed I didn't prime my eyelids. And I don't even think I own a small primer for the eyes. So hopefully this works. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right here again. And I'm gonna use this brush dip it in there and I'm gonna stamp right here just because I don't want I don't want the color to go all the way down and that's what it's actually doing so I'm just gonna leave it like that okay Let's see. all right so I'm gonna go ahead and Go back to this color right here. So the next brush that I'm gonna grab, is this one right here. This is the Luxie 213T. And, hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one right here. <laughs> But I don't know. I'm gonna pick it up on this right here first, try it out, and then if anything, I'll use my finger because I usually use my finger when it comes to foil shadows because it applies better with the finger. So I'm just gonna pick it up with the brush first, and I'm gonna pack it right here. Give me a 
it still has the color and the brush but not as much on the eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger and you see fingers much better So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, so I uh, finished the other eye um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom of the eye. It did have um, quite a few fallout. And for under, for under the eye, I'm gonna go ahead and use the top one right here. So what I do is just I stamp it on first and then I try to blend it out. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna wipe it out. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna dip into the color in, in the middle. And I'm gonna stamp it right on top of that one. And then afterwards, I will, my camera just froze. So I hope this is recording. Uh, I will blend it out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the eyes like this for now. I'm gonna apply eyeliner, um, and the eyeliner that I have is from Benefit, and it's called the Roller Liner Eyeliner. So I'm gonna go ahead and Apply it up the top. I usually don't do wing liners on camera or any type of eyeliner in camera because I suck doing this. So that's how it looks so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. All right, so the other eye is off, the other eye is off camera. <laughs> the other eye is done. Um, I don't know if it happens to most of the people or not, but always one eye comes out better than the other. I can never get my eyeliners to look the same. Like this one came out super nice and then this one is like, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I don't know what color it is. I mean, it's black, but the name of it, blacker. Highline, highliner gel crayon. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for under my eye. And let's see. dark black eyeliner and this is not doing it um, I'm gonna go ahead and just rub on the back of my hand to try to get it black and it is going there so let's try this again I don't know it like it skips like it doesn't want to to take let me try the other eye no. doesn't do anything I mean in the back of my hand it, it like I paint painted I swatched it on the back of my hand and it's black but I don't know why my eye doesn't want to Take that color. Maybe it doesn't work for the waterline. All right, let me see if I have another um, black eyeliner that's small. Not just use one of the regular ones. All right, so unfortunately, I don't have 
a, another small black eyeliner. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Makeup Forever um, Aqua XL eye pencil. See, this works pretty, pretty fast and good. I, I don't think the Marc Jacob one is, is meant for under the eye, like for the waterline. Maybe it's just for the top of the eye or something. So the next thing that I'm going to grab is the mascara. And this is the Better Than Sex mascara. If it, okay. if it focuses. There you go. Gosh. The wand. Well, the, the, the spoolie kind of part. It's still big. eye look right now we're missing a few more things and then we're done um, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face and I am using the artist couture diamond glow powder and the and the and the shade Illuminati uh, so this is a loose powder just don't want to go overboard because this highlight is um, very pigmented. So I'm just going to dab first. Even dabbing, like, you can see. Oh, God. I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but it is a nice highlight. I didn't mean to do that. The good thing is that it diffuses really nice. So for lips, I am using the Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint, and this one is in the shade Vibin. Now, I don't know if this will go with my eye look, so let's go ahead and try it and see. It's probably going to be uh, too dark, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Alright, so this is the final look. The last thing that I have is the setting spray, and I have two. I have the tart the tart ready set radiant skin mist okay and then the next thing that i have is the Too faced hangover um prime set refresh setting spray which is this tiny thing and you know what i'm gonna go ahead and use this one just gonna give it a little shake i'm just gonna spray a little bit first up here and for being a small bottle it did spray it did spray a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and go, go further out and spray oh god this throws up this throws a lot for being a tiny bottle a lot like my face is complete my face is completely soaked. All right, so 
what I like to do after I do this setting spray, I like to go over um, the highlight. I like to go over and highlight again on my cheekbones. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my cheekbones. <laughs> So it gives like a nice, a nice glow. Okay, so I am very highlighted and I am happy. I am so sorry. I have the hiccups and it's bad, bad. I need to drink water. One second. This is the final look using all small products, small makeup. I hope you do enjoy this video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.